Good morning, here I am, San Francisco State University. As you can see behind me, the fog has certainly settled in, as expected. Uh, I'm gearing up to work with the men's basketball team here today. Uh, we're gonna work with the student athletes around developing a leadership framework for the team, but also develop individual leadership philosophies that the student athletes can use throughout their pre-season and well and truly into the season itself. Uh, so let's go take a look of what the day's got in store for us. 90 minutes, two hours or so, that's what we're gonna focus on. So we're gonna focus on leadership for the group and leadership for each individual person in here. Okay, try and mesh them together. Okay, so that's a little bit of an icebreaker. I'll start personally, uh, you, know, you know, this was designed kind of for, for the players of mine, but I feel like I got a ton out of it. Uh, you know, a lot of these things, you, you hear some of these things here and there over time, but but there's a, some great, you know, learning experiences as a coach to kind of really evaluate yourself and, and, and have a better understanding of who you are before you try to lead somebody else. I liked how it was very involved, like there was a lot of involvement from the whole group as a whole. It wasn't just lecture oriented. Like I feel like a lot of these, a lot of like even in class and stuff, it's a lot of lecture oriented type things and uh, it really brought the team together and we interacted together. We had a good time to start, nice little icebreaker and it kind of set the tone for the whole, the whole program. It just helped us or helped me at least like see things in a different perspective where I can use that like we did like a lot of like communication with partners and they get to hear where I'm coming from and I get to hear where they're coming from. I feel like we can use that off the court and on the court. I really think it's an ongoing process. I think uh, you know one or two sessions is, is good and it, it is helpful and it kind of will trigger some things in people's mind to have uh, points of reference but uh, you know, as with everything, it's a you don't you don't learn to make a left-handed layup in one day. You gotta keep repeating it, and you gotta stay on top of it. And I think that the blended learning approach of having in person to kind of initiate it, and then following up with these online interactions to kind of keep everything fresh and build uh, is really like a key aspect of the, the learning process, which will, I think will be hugely beneficial. It seems like a great partnership that could go on, not just this year, but you know, years to come, and can definitely help build, uh, build up more leadership traits in future members of the program, which could be a huge help for, you know, for years to come. I, I think Leaders Evolution has been a, a key part of our development over the last four, five, six years of coming from a program that was you know just in the mix to one of the higher end programs and I think you know Leaders Evolution was was helpful in that in guiding us and providing a foundation for a lot of our student athletes to see them know themselves better and to, to better create the culture that we've been working on and consequently we've been more successful on the court but we've also been more successful in the classroom uh, we've been more successful in the community and uh, so I think it's really a no-brainer for college programs to get involved with, with the uh, Leaders of Evolution. Uh, there's benefit, benefit on the win-loss column, but there's also benefits academically and, and holistically a, a, as human beings. It, and when, you know, as coaches, uh, that's something that we take a lot of pride in, and uh, I certainly do. And I think uh, 